good what are we at oh it's afternoon good afternoon in central kansas with our windmill providing us wonderful wonderful power so nothing is well some things are done so things started happening and people started making comments so i stopped what i was doing that field is not seeded with anything neither is this field i did pick up everything if you look way off in the distance you can see in that silo there um, that silo is fermenting which is good and then um, some people some people said hey can you show us something other than harvesting on an episode so i thought about it and i was like hey yeah i could do that um, and then not there uh we'll get back to him then the wonderful thing happened canola went on special 622 a liter or a ton sorry 622 a ton so we're gonna sell off all of our canola I already got a trailer full of it here so we're gonna go ahead and do that I also realized that um, is on the right spot yeah I also realized if I'm gonna put corn on that big field I've got to cultivate that big field and I don't have a cultivator oops so we're gonna have to take care of that as well so we uh, are gonna dump that we're gonna go and get some more canola and we're gonna sell off our canola and then we are going to um, we're getting our tractor <laughs> then we're gonna buy start buying implements that we need for that field over there so that that's gonna be our goal um, I'm gonna sell those those two bales of wool um, is it two? Two pallets of wool? Yeah, two. I'm <laughs> starting to wonder. Starting to question myself. Um, someone, some people keep telling me to get into cows. I, I'm, I'm sort of conflicted on getting into cows. Cows are kind of an expensive starter. But I know they make good money, so... Where's canola? canola? So I'm sort of conflicted on that. There we go. So let's turn him off while he fills. Now why is this guy here? This guy is here because I'm going to sell this big fertilizer spreader, sprayer thingy. And the reason is, well, I can hook, you guys have been telling me I can, <clears throat> excuse me, but I can hook the small fertilizer spreader, which I already have, to the front of a tractor with a front three point, and then I don't need this guy anymore. So. But I am going to still want to fertilize in some cases without doing that. And for that, we actually have to get get something that is not a mod. We're going to go ahead and pick up this big slurry tanker because it has a heck of a lot more capacity. And we get you guys have been telling me, hey, you get free you get free stuff off of the biogas facility. And you're right, I do. So I need to actually make use of it. So we're going to go ahead and outlay the money for that. Oof, that's a big one. Yeah. Yee All right, let's get back in this guy. We'll go sell this. Then we got to pick up a cultivator. I also learned a very valuable lesson. Um, I was, I was, um, oh, I'm going to sell that small cedar too. Because I've decided I don't want it. <laughs> I've decided that that small field, what I think I'm going to do with the small field over there is just leave it. I, there's, there's really no reason. I was, I was thinking, oh, I could just put grass on it. Why? I've got grass everywhere. I've got grass coming out of my ears over by the, uh, by the shop. So what would be the point of planting a grass field? Um, if I want grass, I can get it easily enough. Um, so I'm really, I'm, I'm really thinking I'm just going to leave that field fallow. Um, it doesn't hurt anything. I don't have any carry cost on a field, which is nice. Bouncy, bouncy. Stop. Lovely. So we're going to want to get a pretty decent sized cultivator and probably a barrel weight um, for the... Uh, tractor here 
I'll, I'll grab the Vicon cult Cultivator. Yeah, there we go. I think we have one more trailer worth. Yeah, one more trailer worth and then a little itty bitty teeny weeny small bit, which isn't really worth it. Ooh, let's check eggs. Yeah, I need to go grab some eggs. Okay. So we need a cultivator, so I'm going to go and pick up the Vicon cultivator. And probably a barrel weight, because that cultivator is pretty big. We'll put this tractor on that field to cultivate. <clears throat> we'll put the front loader on the field over here with the uh, cedar. Um, once we fertilize or something. <laughs> go. Stop. Alright, let's go back to this guy. Unlike last time when I sold the fertilizer spreader that still had fertilizer in it, <laughs> I actually took the time to uh, empty out that big fertilizer trailer before I did that. Do I need to hook this guy up? Nope. Doesn't have the PTO mod. Durr. Ooh, wow. It does look like it's... Well, maybe not too bad. It felt it felt a little bit like the, um, the trailer was tipping the Ford, but I guess not. Hmm. Maybe not. All right, we're going to run this over. We'll fill it up. i got to finish this field. Just about completed it when I ran out of fertilizer pellets. At minimum, I'll probably just do this field here and when I buy one of these other fields over here. I don't think I'm going to haul this all the way over to the big giant field. Um, I think that would just be a little bit too much. Let's get in here. Alright, so we're going to shut you off. And we're going to refill. Mmm, yum. Okay, let's go back over here. So it's just a busy start to this episode. We're running around just trying to, to get things sorted and in position. I don't think it's going to be worth my time. 10,000 liters. No, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna pull the rest of that canola out. I'll just keep that in the silo for now. <laughs> no reason to to waste the gas to drive over here for ten thousand liters. It's only not even a not even a tenth of the capacity of this trailer. Well, yeah, not even a tenth. Hmm. All right. So this is this has actually been really good. It was like the perfect time for a uh, great demand. I was I was doing a little bit of fertilizer spreading, and then I um, I had sped up time while I was doing fertilizer spreading, and then the great demand came on, and I was just like, you know, I had just read somebody's comment saying stop showing up, just harvest, and I'm like, you know, perfect time. Let's let's do it. Let's just jump in here and start recording. All right. Oh yeah, 117,000. Let's run the fort over here. Now I gotta wonder how expensive this uh, cultivator and barrel weight combo is really going to be. And we need the corn planter, which of course is the small one, because we have passed the mod show, and you all know I did not give that Kins an award. And in fact, I took it out of the game already. Uh, so, it's not even in here. <laughs> How about that? So, let's run over here. Um, oh, valuable, valuable lesson I learned. Did I already say what the valuable lesson was? I don't remember. Anyway, valuable lesson. See that cat right there? It's a nice harvester. It's rubbish for compacting silage. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I was like, you know, big heavy vehicle. Let me use this for compacting silage now. It was a waste of fuel. I burned 200 liters and I got like 
30% compaction. It was actually sort of embarrassing. All right, we're going to need, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a barrel weight. Do I really want a barrel weight or just an extra weight? Let's go ahead and buy the barrel weight. Now let's go to our mods, to our cultivators. There it is. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, there we had it. Come on. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I just think that it's safer if I go ahead and put the barrel weight on. Is it actually on? Yes, it is. Okay. I think it's just safer if I go ahead and put the barrel weight on. Um, instead of getting out here and then trying to cultivate and then having to go buy the barrel weight. So might as well just get it from the start. It leaves us with 64, 65,000. Windmill will get, generate us some more. So I think that's good. Um, someone told me to sell the uh, profi hopper and just use the kid. Yeah, except for the other advantage of the profi hopper is that um, unfold. Um, the other advantage of the profi hopper is that I can push bales with it. So it kind of serves double purpose. Or porpoise. All right. Get this guy lined up. And hire a worker. And speed him up. There. Unnaturally fast, but I know I I don't really care. Um, I do sort of care, but you know what are we gonna do? Okay, we've got ninety-seven percent in there. That just started, so it it's it just started cooking. It's gonna be a while before it finishes. It's sixty seventy percent, something like that. Pretty decent fill rate in there. Um, I'll have to go back and look at my older videos, but I think that'll generate us at least 70,000, give or take. All right, let's get this all spread and get ready to go. Okay, I'm not looking forward to, to using the Ford Stoke front loader for that, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, there we go. All right, let's go one and then turn it on. Nope, oh, look at me, immediately missing the line. Ugh, oh well. <laughs> what can you do? What can you do with a drunken tractor driver? I'm not drunk, I'm drinking tea. Nice passion tea. <clears throat> All right, we'll turn that off. We're going to turn around and get this spot that we screwed up. There we go. Then we can do that last little bit over there. And all will be well. Yeah, look at how fast it uses up the slurry. And that really proves to me that, that taking this over to the big field would be just a monumental pain in the butt. Um, I couldn't even imagine the number of times I would have to go back and forth on that field trying to finish it off. All right, so it's about the midpoint. Yeah, and on, <laughs> and on. Hope you guys all enjoyed the award show. Um, it, it didn't exactly turn out the way I had planned it when I start, when I sat down to start recording it. Um, when I started doing the edits, things didn't really work. I, I was going to do like some really cool editing tricks and things, but when it came down to it, I was more pressed for time because of work. So I couldn't get the edits to look nice. The actual show itself was fine. It was just 
the editing I wanted to do, I couldn't do. Um, just purely time-based. Um, so we don't have any misunderstandings because you all had a week of farming simulator, even though it was an award show, it's still you got a week of farming simulator. Um, and because of that, let's fold that guy up. Um, should I? Yeah, let's see how far we get. I'm going to go fill it up and we're going to see how far we get on the big field. Let's just run a test, right? Right. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Because you guys had a week of farming simulator, expect next week there is not going to be any farming simulator mod spotlights. Um, I need a little bit of time to get things ready and, and switch to a new map and figure out what tests I'm going to run on what fields, etc. So there will be, not be any farming simulator mod spotlights. Instead, it's going to be a week of flight simulator. So those of you that don't like Flight Simulator, I'm sorry. Those of you that like Flight Simulator, you're going to have an enjoyable week. I think you'll enjoy some of the stuff I'm doing this this next week. Let's fill him back up. What? You're not going to fill up there? You're going to fill up there. Okay, whatever. So yeah, um, we'll, we'll have a week of farming... Uh, flight simulator and then things will be back to sort of abby normal because nothing is ever normal on this channel you all should be aware well aware of that oh come on fill up good googly moogly we're going to start on the far side of the field so we don't run into the the cultivator i'm betting Let's let's think about this. I'm betting I won't make one full pass. That's what I think. I don't think I will make one full pass with this. Just my thought. <laughs> yeah, nice windmill generating us power and money. And money is power, and power is money. All right. So we've already spent a good hefty portion of the money we earned off of the canola, but on the bright side, we haven't gone into debt yet. So that's that's a huge plus, I think. So I'm gonna bring the slurry tanker over here. How well did Cultivator Boy do? Not the best. Hmm. Well, we'll have to cultivate the ends of the field. It's really annoying that they don't, they aren't meticulous enough to, to get the ends of the field. Alright. The less poo I can put on the road, the better. such a big tank behind the Ford. Oop. It's going to be too much off the road. There we go. Straighten out. All right, go. Wait, stop. I can't find my button. There, go. All right, can I go faster? Can I go up to level two, maybe? Yes, I can go up to level two. Good. All right, let's see how we do. The big test. How much poo does it take to, to fertilize a field? Um, see, we're coming up on 75% remaining. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm wrong. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it's going to be close. Well, no, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm going to make one f one up pass. I'm not going to make a up down pass, and I never believed I would. But wow! So this thing covers. It's got a pretty decent spread on it, but I'd have to do one, two. I'm betting like eight pass eight. 10 up and backs. That's what I'm thinking.
Wow. Yeah. Alright, when we get up here, we're actually going to faff about it a little bit to see how many passes we'd actually have to make. And stop. Alright, so that would be pass two. There's two passes. You like my method? It's a very scientific method. <laughs> There's three passes. Oop, 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 oop. Back up. Back up the gravy train. Ew. Uh, what is that, four passes? Yeah, four passes. And... Five. <laughs> Measuring as only a dare can do. <laughs> And now I'm all knackered up. All right, back up. Oh, I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five. This is six. I'm going to wait for the Vicon to get by. He's hoofing it. Come on, buddy. Look at them. Just blazing up the road. Don't look, those of you that don't like to see a bad tractor stop, because he's about to slam on his brakes, and it's going to be funny, probably. Oh, actually, it wasn't. I expected the tractor to nose. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Where is the bale pallet facing that way? Okay. Alright. Gotcha. Look at that. I got him on the first grab. Yeah. It's going to bounce around like a crazy loon, but whatever. Alright, let's go to the pallet selling place, which is over here. So we'll sell our two pallets, drop off our fork. Oh, uh, well, we have to collect our eggs. All on the way to the um, to drop the slurry tanker off, and then I'm going to go get the um, uh, the big uh, the big planter, and we're going to go plant that the field on the back side there with what did we decide on? Wheat. I'm going to put wheat back there. Well, he uh, he works hard. I know you guys want me to buy the case, and we'll look at the price here in a minute. All right, let's get you gone. Thank y'all. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Okay, good. For a second, I thought that was a van, but no, it's a dumpster. <laughs> we. I do like this tractor. You know, e even though there's not like a super huge amount of extras on this tractor, I like it. Which would be why it, it placed high in the uh, in the award show. Wow, I'm gonna have to go cultivating every single side of the. F Ugh. Well, what can you do, right? The continuing... You know what? Let's try to do this from in the cab. Ha ha, this is going to be hilarious. Nope. Let's do that. Nope. Like that. Alright. Oh, this is going to be nice and funny. Alright, let's go right... Nope, nope. Press up a little bit. No. What am I doing wrong? What's going on? Oh. That would be what I'm doing wrong. Okay, now what? Yeah. Now we can do it. Heck yeah! Uh oh. Well, mostly. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that and hope it stays. <laughs> Hagenstead, happy sheep. Except for not Hagenstead. Oh good, it's gonna come down the fork. Good. If I do this, will it come down the fork faster? No, it will not. Oh well. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's let's run this. Oh wow, only 54 liters of fuel? Really? Oh, that's right. Okay. I did most of the compacting with this tractor after the uh, failure of the, <laughs> of the combine experiment. Um, and I literally drove in circles around the inside the silo because you can just about you can just do that in the Ford if you just get really really close to one side of the silo and you cut the wheel really really hard at speed one which is like 16 or 11 or something like that you can just make it around in the uh, ah no 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 bad Ugh. there. You can just make it around in the silo. So I was just doing laps. Constant. Alright, let's drop this guy off. The other guy is... What is that about? So yeah, halfway done. Hmm. I wouldn't say halfway. Well, no, he's, I think he's coming up on half. I'd appreciate you cleaning up the edges there. Stupid. Yeah, he's about half done. Well, excellent. That is a surprise and a good surprise. Let's drop this back off under the tree, because that's where you put forks, right? That's where I put that fork, anyway. Okay, let's get this guy. 
put him away. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Um, why, why the workers miss on the edge of the field so much with the cultivators? It's just... Ugh, it's mine. Ugh, it just drives me crazy. Take pride in your work. Hit every single bit of the field. It's not that hard. Anyway, I know I could physically go in there and, and cultivate it, but the point is I want them to do it. I want them to do their job. They are, after all, hired workers. Drop that off there. Spin around, pick up some fuel. Because I am not replacing this guy since he's the, um, since he's the front loader. All right, well, that's refilling. Let's go look at, so, 53,000 for the case. I could pick it up. I could pick up the case. And get rid of that other Ford. Well, we also need the, ooh, are there any sales that we want? Oh, how perfect! Our maze sewer is on sale. How awesome! So forty-six thousand for that. Let's go ahead and buy that while it's on sale. So we have that. Anything else? No, it's all Amazon. Amazoni, Amazoni. Okay. So I don't. I didn't want to sort by brand anymore. Ah. So many problems. I want to go to two, two, two. What am I looking for? I've forgotten. What was I looking for? Wow. Huh. I don't remember anymore. Oh well. Apparently it's not that important. <laughs> All right, so at 53,000, open. I think what we'll do is when the Ford, when the 8340 finishes its circuit with the cultivator, yeah, when he finishes the circuit with the cultivator, we'll cultivate off the top and bottom of the field, get that all cleaned up, sell the Ford, Take out a loan to grab the case. Well, we were going to sell this other um, cedar too, which is fine. We'll have the four do that. All right, let's get the right crop. There we go, wheat. Oh, let's get some eggs. Jump! Open. Hello. Lovely chickens. Thank you, chickens. Woo. I was an Olympic hurdler. True story. Okay. Let's... Unfold. I have the... I have the... the shades down on in my office here and the light is off because it gets so warm in here with the computer exhaust and all of that the only problem is now it's dark and I can't actually see my keys so I uh like well bugger all right stop there and hi other you can go faster than that my friend go. How far does he have to go? Not too far. Okay, we're going to run these blueberries. <laughs> Stupid blueberry bushes. Mm, fresh blueberries, though. 
Yum. Ooh, a fresh blueberry pie made with fresh farm eggs and wheat ground up on the farm. Well, flour ground on the farm. Ooh, that would be tasty. And, and sweetened with honey instead of, uh, yeah, honey from our bee box. Oh, wow. That would be like the best blueberry pie ever. I do believe so. And once we have cows, and we'd have milk on the farm, too. Ding! Yay, money! Okay. Cool. So we have our plan. We got our, our new toy over there. We got frozen sheep over here still. Good. Ooh, now it's a race to see who finishes first, I guess. I'm putting my money on the uh, front loader forward. Uh, and he misses a spot, as always. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the recording here. And I'm going to come back when this fort is done. Or the other fort. When, I'm going to come back when the definitely when the other fort is done, because we have to do things with that other fort. And uh, we'll start sowing the other field. Um, and I'm going to think about cows. I'm going to I'm going to have a think about cows while uh, while this is all happening. We might we might consider cattle. So uh, we'll be right back when the when the Ford is ready to be sold. <laughs> 